Satnam, welcome! Today I want to share with you my favorite morning practice. It's really short and it's very dynamic and very effective if you want to build a beautiful, fit body, if you want to have lots of energy during your day and if you want to balance your mind, to bring your mind into the place of stillness and happiness. So this practice is good for beginners, intermediaries and advanced students. So let's get started. Sit down on your mat uh, in easy pose with your spine straight. If you're a beginner, you can just uh, grab a pillow and sit on your pillow so that your spine is straight and it's comfortable. So don't try to overstress at this point because this is just the beginning, okay? So close your eyes. The palms are relaxed on your knees. Eyes closed. And try to powerfully breathe in for five. And exhale for five. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. And 10 more breaths, just breathing and focusing at the breathing. Visualizing the energies flowing in. And exhale, you spread it all around to your organs, to your tissues. Intensifying it even more. Beautiful, and one more. Inhale and hold. Focus at the third eye in your forehead. And exhale, release, relax. Now you bring your focus again to the third eye, to the point between your eyebrows. And visualize, with your eyes closed of course, visualize your intention, your dream, your goal. What do you want to achieve in your life? What is your deep purpose? You're achieving it and you're extremely happy. And visualize that everything becomes easy. Everything happens in the most easy, simple way. Feel the surprise, excitement. So now you allow it to happen. In your reality, it already exists. And now you send this intention to the sky so that universal forces will guide you and help you on your way. And now open your eyes and let's get started. So first we do, so come up. And we start straight away with Surya Namaskar A. I want you to learn it because sometimes you don't have internet, you don't have YouTube, you don't have yoga class, but you have to learn the sequence because this is the basics of yoga. Okay, so you're coming to the front of your mat. Inhale, arms up. Reaching out, stretching and arching your spine, lengthening your arms over your head. And exhale, forward fold. Touching the floor with your fingers. Breathing in and out, as I showed you before. Every exhale, go deeper to the stretch. And now step back to the plank pose. And we stay here for 10 seconds. Your body is in straight line, shoulders over your arms over your hands. Breathing in and out. And now Chaturanga push up slowly, slowly, elbows to your rib cage and inhale Cobra, 
upward facing dog, the same. So chest wide open, if your shoulders are tight, squeeze to your ears, relax them and send them back, joining the shoulder blades together. Chest wide open, stay and breathe. As deep as you can, chest wide open like a book, you know, you're opening your chest and let it be free. And one, and now downward facing dog, so you bring your hips up, 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 reaching up to the sky, heels down and your head is going down. So this is the ideal position, but if you knew, if you want to increase the flexibility, you do this dynamic stretching, inhaling heels up, exhaling heels down. And two, and you see I'm arching my back, so you try to arch your back. Don't stay like this, try to arch it. And now bend your knees, look up and step or jump forward. Inhale, arms up, arching. Arms are straight and exhale to Samastiti. Samastiti, palms to the heart center and your hips are squeezed in. And again, but now we don't rest. So inhaling, arms up, stretching, exhaling down. And now step and straight away, Chaturanga, push up. Inhale, upward facing dog, chest wide open to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your hips up, head down. And now straight away, bend, jump forward, and again, inhale, arms up, exhale, Samastiti, arms to heart center. So let's do it again. Up, exhaling, forward fold. And now step or jump back, plank pose, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Breathing in, exhale down dog. Stretching, lengthening your spine. And again, bend your knees and jump forward. Inhale, arms up, arching. Exhale, samastiti. So now we'll do this for 10 times non-stop. Let's do number one. Exhale, forward fold, step back, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down dog, and jump, samastiti, and now you will do on your own, silently, without my instruction, you can look but it will help you to focus on your breath, you know, to be more relaxed. You don't need my blah blah all the time. So let's do number two.
and the last time. And stay here for five breaths in the Onward Facing Dog. And now jump forward, inhaling arms up, exhaling arms down. Well done! So now we learned Surya Namaskar A. It's very easy when you're traveling, just try to build this practice. It's 10 minutes, even less, but it makes such a big difference to your feeling and to your energy level. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Today you learned Surya Namaskar A. It helps you to breathe more, to connect your breath to your body, to become stronger, more flexible, and to get into yoga properly. Because if you don't know how to combine the asanas, you lose yoga. You can practice only in yoga studio. But if you learn the sequence like Surya Namaskar A, you will be able to practice it at night, in the morning, in the evening, on your own without anyone. So I'm giving you the power to do yoga, to make it your daily practice without me, just purely spiritually exploring yourself, your body, your soul and your mind. So thank you so much. Let me know how it goes. Subscribe to this channel to see more videos with yoga, to learn more and to get more power. Namaste.